I S U P K. Hey, Shalom, man. This is Priest Kevin Gondoha with the ISUPK. And the Commander Journey in Holland, California, man. To all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the ISUPK, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Shalom. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. The decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. The decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger. Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger. All I wanted was to be a gangster. And shot call to be known with them niggas letting shots off. Either that or the right hand to the top door. Funny how it's evaded and not the lives lost. Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless. Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord to kill you for that hocus pocus. Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry. Same ones claim they love you. I had your life in jeopardy. And I know my mother won't success for me. But that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy. Boys in America, man. With that, Shalom. That brother Han, he spoke the truth, man, you know what I'm saying? That's the beautiful thing about serving the Lord. You get to speak the truth, right? Did not the Bible say, the truth shall set you free, right? And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set, set you free. You know what I'm saying? And that brother spoke powerful. Once again, we're the Israelite School University of Practical Knowledge. Since 1969, coming out to D.C. And whether black and Hispanics and Native American in this world, we're there. We're in your face because we love our people. We want our people to know the truth. We want our people to understand that we do have natural enemies. Animals know they have natural enemies, right? Don't the lion know that he's the enemy to the tiger, right? Don't the shark know he's the enemy to the dolphins, right? Don't the impala know that their enemy is the lion, right? Because of Christianity, blacks and Hispanics and Native American Indians don't know that the oppressor is our enemy. That's a problem right there. We are here to wake our people up and to make them understand that we gotta get on God's side, straight up and down, brother and sister. We gotta get on his side wholeheartedly. Cause if not, our oppressors will keep doing the same. They'll keep feeding off of us. They'll keep murdering us. They'll keep doing everything. And guess what? Get away with it and make a postcard. I don't want that. I don't want, I don't want black people to be that. I don't want Hispanics, I don't want Native American Indians to be that. Read this right here, read in Proverbs, the 11th chapter and the 21st verse, read. This is Proverbs chapter 11 and 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. Now, you hear what God say, though hand join in hand. Let's start dissecting that for a little bit before we proceed, shall we? Okay? Though hand join in hand, well, who's joining whose hand to who? Our brothers and sisters that are locked in the Christian mindset, you know what I'm saying? That are going to church, that are saving, serving Jesus Christ, all right? This, this image right there that we love so much that Grandma got on the wall next to um, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and whoever else, right? They got this picture right there. We thinking that we could join America. And in joining America, we forget a key element. That element is knowing who's our enemy, right? You know, joining America makes us forget that. God wants black people to know. Read it from the top. Oh, God. Though hand join in hand. Though hand join in hand, right? Though you try to decide to be a good old Christian, to be a docile Christian, right? And allow people to murder your people, right? right. And they say, well, you know what? Just like that brother, um, um, both of John's brother, said, you know what? I, I feel sorry for her. Can I give her a hug? Y'all seen that news, right? Can I give her a hug? I don't think she's bad. I think she committed a mistake. Let me show you something. Because of Christianity, Christians throw us under the bus. There's no denying that. And the Christian would say, love thine enemy. But let me tell you something. When Christ was speaking, Christ being a black man, he was only, only people, listen to me good, he was only talking to every Negro, Every West Indian, every Haitian, every Mexican, every Seminole Indian, every North American Indian, every Puerto Rican, Dominican, Cuban. If you on this list, 
These are the only people he was speaking to. Right. Love thine enemies was only talking about the brothers and sisters who we have problems with. Right. Not the one that's killing us. How is it? How is it, right? Once again, taking it back to the animal world, how is it the Impala know that they could never get along with the lion? You feel that? How is it that the cheetah know that that deer there is prey? You understand? The blacks and Hispanics and Native American Indians, we want to join America because of good old Christian vibe. You know what I'm because it feels good, right? Don't it feel good? Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Love your enemy. Mwah, mwah, right? We suckers for that. We suckers for that. Right. Read. Come on, brother. The wicked shall, shall not be. Up on the top. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. You understand? The wicked, right? The brother brought out the scripture in, in, in um, Job 9.24, right? The, wick, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? I'm paraphrasing now, right? The wicked is talking about who is in charge of the planet Earth. It ain't hard to figure out. It's our oppressors that are in charge of the planet Earth. They control every corner, the four corners of the planet Earth, and trying to go out to Mars to control that. Trying to go out into the galaxies and control that. God called them the wicked, right? And God said here, the wicked shall not go unpunished. You understand? That's right. God, and let me let black people, Hispanic, Native American Indians know something. God is not, uh, God is not Caucasian. Right. God is not white. I'm gonna just keep it clear. God, according to the book of Daniel, has woolly hair, just like Jesus Christ. God is a black man, just like Jesus Christ. You understand? This? According to Daniel, the seventh chapter, you know what I'm saying? It tells you what God looked like. The only thing white right about God was the garment that he wore. But God sat on the fiery throne and gives orders and all the angels go about to do what he says. They all say, come, other one come, which means sir, yes sir, and carry it out. You understand? God said, though hand, join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. You understand? When we side with the, our oppressors, we become the wicked also because we start to think like the, our oppressors. We start to act like our oppressors. You know what I'm saying? We be our oppressors. We eat our oppressors. We feed our oppressors. We do everything our oppressors do. Like, Thank you, brother man. You know what I'm saying? We do it all. But God know the difference. God know there's a people hurting black people. I want to ask these pastors, these Christian pastors, you, you fathers in the Catholic Church, the most wickedest, one of the most wickedest um, places to be, the Roman Catholic Church, another wicked place, the Christian Church in general, Jehovah Witness, whatever denomination, I'm gonna ask you pastor something, you reverend something, it's just you God-like and holy, right? Let me ask you something, what would you do in the day when Jesus Christ come and sees a black man? That's shocking, right? right. What would you do if in the day Jesus Christ come, you see a white woolly afro and a tall black man looking hardcore with 200 million black angels. What would you do, pastor? Are you gonna pray Jesus now and hallelujah? No, you're gonna be feeling just like how the white man is going to feel, endangered. You understand? Because their expectation was to re receive this guy right here. Well, the Bible don't say that. I'm sorry to tell you, Christians. The Bible does not say that. It does say about a black man who's the black king of blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. You understand? We, and we don't understand, we don't know nothing about that. Because we want to love and join America and partake in the American way of life. Black people, God does not want you to partake in the American way of life. The American way of life has been our demise. It's right. been our destruction. You know what I'm saying? It ain't hard to figure out, man. Look at all the Planned Parenthood. Look at the sign. Have y'all brothers and sisters checked out that sign right there? Planned Parenthood, you know what I'm saying? No different than having crack in your, in your neighborhood. No different than having heroin in your neighborhood. It's no different than having a church in your neighborhood. Let me get right here. Get me to Jeremiah 2 and 12. Let's start right there. You know what I'm saying? We gotta do something. Imagine, brothers and sisters, check this out, right? Miss Becky, I like to call her, right? But I'm talking about, what's her name? Amber, right? Amber? Amber Geiger, right? Then Miss Ann, Ann Geiger, imagine if Miss Amber Geiger was black. Would she have received the, the nice patting on the head? 
right? The smooth, the combing of the, you know, y'all saw the sister, right? She was combing her hair with her fingers and, and comforting her, right? And, and, and saying, it's going to be okay, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if she looked like your aunt. Imagine if that woman looked like your sister. Would it have been all this? But no, nah, it would have been, they would have been pounding on her. It would have been beating on her, you know why? Because they're good Christians. That's what Christians do. That's how Christians feel about them. You being in the church, you hate your people. I'm gonna tell you straight up and down. If you are, if you are black, Hispanic, and Native American Indian, and you into religion, you hate your people. Because religion make you hate your people and love the people who's really killing you. You love them more than you love yourself. That's the reality. That's what we face in America. That is the American way of life. I don't know about you, but I got tired a long time ago. These brothers, these brothers right here, we got tired a long time ago of being Americans. You know, let me tell you something, black people, how many of you feel like you're American citizens? Let's keep it real. Black people, how many of you feel like you're American citizens? Y'all ready for a wake up call? You never was an American citizen. You know what, you, you wanna know the only American thing about us? We the American slaves. Oh yeah, reality hit, right? And the truth shall set you free. That's right, bah, wake up brother. That's what we are. We're not American citizens. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians get it through our heads. We are not American citizens. Right. We are the American slave. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's what we gotta realize. And now some of us want to join that are our hands with the slave masters, like we saw that disgusting display. Like, and then guess what? They broadcast it as to say, look at this, look at it, look at these people, look at it. This is pathetic. They make that was like like, like showing us, and guess what? The Lord had to show it to you too. I'm sorry to tell you, but the Lord wants you to realize something black and Hispanic, Native American in this. We need to stop being that. We need to stop it. Because how else are we going to get out of the conditions we're in? Aren't we tired of waking up every day surrounded by enemies? Oh, because oh, you think you're waking up in a black ghetto, everything is going pathetic. The fact that we're in the ghettos, the fact that we are suffering what we're suffering, even if we're rich, even if we got money, we still are the American slaves, man. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You understand? Me, you America, about? America, America, America got us destroyed, man. It got us destroyed, thanks to the oppressor, man. You understand? Give me Jeremiah 2 and verse 12. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2 and 12. Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be be ye very desolate, saith the Lord. Read it again. Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be very desolate, saith the Lord. Go to 14, Bible Kishah. Read. Is Israel a slave? Right. Oh, Start from the top and say it slowly. This is important, brother. You understand? Because most of us are trapped in the American way of life. You know what I'm saying? We, as we became, we're here to shake things up, brothers and sisters, for the love of our people. Being, being how it is that our leaders aren't doing a great job, they're doing a piss poor job of helping brothers and sisters. Meanwhile, we're getting killed. Meanwhile, our oppressors, think about this, brothers. Our oppressors can murder us and get comforted by our own people, man. Right. And so you see something wrong there with that picture, picture brothers and sisters? Our oppressors kill us and still get a hug from the people you kill. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm and blues Call this guitar smoke 
rebel with no cause, trying to find direction. The world got me vexed. Picked up a bad lick, a habit that's already turned from oppression. Felt like my life was on fire, trying to find an exit. Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck. Sometimes a follower is a soldier, trying to find a good ship. Plus, when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell. No call it can cause pain. Something that a rebel knows very well. Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.